Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. We are gathered together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty, to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have, have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my, and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray, pray for, for me to, to the, the Lord, Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. May your right hand, O Lord, we pray, encompass your family with perpetual help, so that, defended from all wickedness by the resurrection of your only begotten Son, we may make our way by means of your heavenly gifts. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. There was an attempt in Iconium by both the Gentiles and the Jews, together with their leaders, to attack and stone Paul and Barnabas. They realized it and fled to the Lyconian cities of Lystra and Derbe, and to the surrounding countryside, where they continued to proclaim the good news. At Lystra, there was a crippled man, lame from birth, who had never walked. He listened to Paul speaking, who looked intently at him, so that he had faith to be healed, and called out in a loud voice, Stand up straight on your feet. He jumped up and began to walk about. When the crowd saw what Paul had done, they cried out in Lyconian, The gods have come down to us in human form. They called Barnabas Zeus and Paul Hermes because he was the chief speaker. And the priest of Zeus, whose temple was at the entrance to the city, brought oxen and garlands to the gates, for he, together with the people, intended to offer sacrifice. The apostles Barnabas and Paul tore their garments when they heard this and rushed out into the crowd, shouting, Men, why are you doing this? We are of the same nature, human beings. We proclaim to you good news that you should turn from these idols to the living God who made heaven and earth and sea, and all that is in them. In past generations, he allowed all Gentiles to go their own ways. Yet, in bestowing his goodness, he did not leave himself without witness. For he gave you rains from heaven and fruitful seasons, and filled you with nourishment and gladness for your hearts. Even with his words, they scarcely restrained the crowds from offering sacrifice to them. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. Not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. Not to us, O Lord, not to us, but to your name give glory, because of your mercy, because of your truth. Why should the pagans say, Where is their God? Not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. Our God is in heaven. Whatever he wills, he does. Their idols are silver and gold, the handiwork of men. Not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. May you be blessed by the Lord who made heaven and earth. Heaven is the heaven of the Lord, but the earth he has given to the children of men. Not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. Please stand.
Holy Spirit will teach you everything and remind you of all I told you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever has my commandments and observes them is the one who loves me. Whoever loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and reveal myself to him. Judas, not the Iscariot, said to him, Master, then what happened that you will reveal yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus answered and said to him, Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our dwelling with him. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words. Yet the word you hear is not mine, but that of the Father who sent me. I have told you this while I am with you. The Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you everything and remind you of all that I told you. My dear brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa atin lahat. One of the fascinating things that you will observe kung magda-drive kayo within Manila area is that in certain intersections, hindi lang stoplight ang makikita ninyo. Samot saring mga CCTV camera. Ang dami-dami, no? nakakatuwa. No? Nakakatuwa para sa iba, sa kakaiba sa iba naman, parang mas na-heightened ang kanilang senses na mag-observe ng traffic rules. No? Kaya nga, itong ginagawang contactless apprehension ay para bagang mas naging mitsa para tayong lahat ay maging aware mag-observe no ikip ang traffic laws o traffic rules kasi alam naman ho natin minsan no kapag walang nakatingin no hindi susunod sa batas ano bantay sa lakay ika nga no? pwedeng gumawa ng barubal siguro kapag walang CCTV camera. What am I telling you this, mother, brothers and sisters? In our gospel reading today, Jesus reminds us also of keeping and observing laws. We heard, whoever has my command or keeps my commands and observe them is the one who loves me. And whoever loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and reveal myself to him. Jesus said this in the context na siya ay paalis na. No? Siya ay paascend na sa langit. No? At may iiwan siyang kapalit na Espiritu Santo para ipaalala sa mga naiwan yung mga itinuro ni Jesus. The gist, perhaps, my dear brothers and sisters, of the discipleship is that kung na-internalize na ba natin ang mga utos ni Jesus, kung ano yung kanyang mga turo, it, became, it becomes already our second nature. Naging tayo na mismo nun, naging 
pagkakakilanla na natin no? ang pagiging disipulo niya sa pamamagitan ng pag-o-observe ng kanyang mga utos. Whoever loves me will keep my word and my Father will love him and we will come to him and make our dwelling in him. Ano ibig sabihin na to? It means that by observing them and keeping them, no? nanatili sa atin ang diwa ni Kristo. Kaya nga, tinanong dito ni Judas, na the Iscariot, Master, then what happened that you will reveal yourself to us and not to the world? Para bagang, bakit sa amin mo lang pinapakita ang sarili mo, hindi sa buong mundo? Jesus is actually telling them, no, you will be the one who will reveal myself to the world. Dahil kayo mismo ang magbibigay saksi. By your words, by keeping my commandments and by observing them, kayo mismo ang magpapakilala kung sino ako. See? Lahat pala tayo dito ay may obligasyon. No? Lahat pala tayo dito ay ginagawang instrumento ng Diyos para ipakilala siya sa lahat. Wala hong dichotomy, no? Hindi ho doble kara, consistent. Walang pinagkaiba, walang disparity, walang difference, no? Walang incongruency. Parang hindi magulo ang mukha. No? Na ang mukha na pinapakilala lang natin ay mukha ni Jesus. At ang pinapakilala ni Jesus ay mukha ng Ama. At anong mukha na yon? Mukha ng pag Ibig. Internalizing values. No? Yun siguro ang magandang pagnilay natin sa misang ito. Totoo bang na isa buhay na natin ang mga pinapahalagahan o utos ni Jesus bilang mga Kristiyano at tagasunod niya? O hindi lang tayo basta-basta nagre-react sa sitwasyon? Pero ang parating hugot natin ang parating reference point natin ay siya. You see, sometimes, my dear brothers and sisters, no? when we do things, at times, not just things, but sometimes stupid things, no? minsan, ang dahilan pa natin, eh, kasi siya, eh, ginagawa rin niya, eh, pwede ko rin gawin. Naghahanap pa tayo ng ma, si, si, si. No? Doon tayo magaling. What we called scapegoating. No? E ginagawa nga ng iba eh. Baka pwede ko rin gawin. Yung mga barubal, di ba? E hindi nga nahuli yung iba eh. Baka ako pwede rin makalusot. You see? Hindi pa na-internalize ang mga values that sometimes we are not even mature enough to own up our own mistakes. Integrity, my dear brothers and sisters, is choosing thoughts and actions based on values rather than personal gains. Ang tanong, values ba ni Jesus ang ating pinapahalagahan? Kasama ba yan sa kanyang mga utos sa ating mga ginagawa ang ating mga iniisip o bantay sa lakay lang din tayo. Keeping and observing my commandments and finally, hopefully, internalizing it is what constitutes integrity. Naturalesa na lang na ginagawa natin ito kapag tayo ay may integritad. Kahit walang nakatingin, especially kapag walang nakatingin. That is why, perhaps, in this Mass, my dear brothers and sisters, it is good to ask ourselves, gaano na ba kalalim ang paraan ng pagsasabuhay ko sa mga utos at turo ni Jesus? Kasama na ba yan sila sa mga 
pinapahalagahan ko. May nakatingin man o wala. Hindi lang po sana tayo pa-press release ano, kung ano yung nakikita lang yung iba. No? After all, my dear brothers and sisters, integrity is not something we show to others. It is how we behave, especially when no one is looking. Integrity is doing the right thing even if no one is watching. In this Mass, we beg for the grace of integrity. At sana ang Espiritu Santo ang siyang magturo sa atin at magpaalala sa atin na mga habilin ni Jesus. Amen. Please stand. With confidence, let us now raise our hearts to God the Father, who guides us through His words. In every prayer we say, Father, keep us in your love. Father, keep us in your love, that the Church may live the spirit of the Gospel and seek God's will in her ministry of service. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father keep, keep us in your love that we may all work for justice and human dignity, especially for the weak and the poor. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father keep, keep us in your love, that as a community, we may support and uplift one another with the love and gentleness which the Lord has shown us. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father keep, keep us in your love, love, that those who are sick in mind, body, and spirit may find complete healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, keep us in your love, that the dead may enter the place Christ has prepared for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, keep us in your love. Almighty Father, hear our prayers and open our hearts to welcome and love our needy brothers and sisters. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, 
to load you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross, and by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are, are full, full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the true fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, I said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter, enter under, under my, my roof, roof, but only, but only say, say the word, the word and, and my soul, soul shall, shall be healed. Be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of the saving food through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. <laughs> Thank you.